Well, she seemed nice. <laughs> I told you. I warned you about this idiotic little distraction. Now look where you are. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, cheer up, buckaroo. Have some jerky. Do you mind? I'm trying to think. Okay. L-A-H-O-M-A. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's a little funny. <laughs> I know. I've charmed her, so I'll simply have to find some way of uncharming her. Uh, what do you mean? Just show her some of my less desirable qualities. It will be a challenge. But after all, no one's perfect. I mean, there's... Uh... No, actually, that's quite excellent. Uh, and there's always... My God, it's like Michelangelo's David. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Oh, come on, you've got to have something about you that can turn this chick off. Nothing I can <clears throat> see. Oh, it's stuck. Ugh. No, mm, come on. Mm, yeah. Except... <laughs> what? You have a brother? Didn't I mention him? Wherever I go, Ruprecht goes. You mean I'm bringing home two princes? Would you like to meet him? Try and stop me! Not that way, dear. Like all royalty, we must descend. Now, no sudden moves. What? Don't worry. I'm sure he's going to love you as much as I do. <laughs> Ruprecht, it is I, your brother. Ruprecht. Yes. Oh, Ruprecht. <laughs> All right, cuddly, cuddly. <laughs> No, 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 Rubrek, no. <laughs> He's very affectionate. Uh, come, Rubrek, I'd like you to meet someone. This nice lady is Miss Oaks. Hello, Rubrek. Mommy? No, 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 Rubrek. She's not our mother, but she's going to be your sister. Miss Oaks and I are getting married, and we're all going to live in Oklahoma. Not mummy. All right. If it makes you happy, you may call her mummy. Keep smiling. He senses fear. <laughs> mummy! Ruprecht! <laughs> Remember your manners. Oh, dear. Now he's upset you. Uh, not at all. <laughs> Nap time, Ruprecht. Hey! <laughs> mummy. I'm afraid it's the same old story every generation or so. The blood will be flowing along blue as the Danube, when suddenly a piece of mad genetic driftwood... So your brother is... Hmm. You see, my dear, every royal family, by its very nature, has a sort of price that it must pay. Every noble lineage has one loose gene flitting around the family pool. Caligula had his temper, the Habsburgs had the chin. George III went cuckoo bird, and Nero had that violin. Richard, if you remember, had the hump and the withered limb. The bushes of Tex were nervous wrecks because their sun was dim. But look what happened to him. Alas, our family also carries a bit of a curse. But darling, it could be a great deal worse. Rubrecht's all about cake and lemonade Milkshake enemas Fun and play Rubrecht's all about Vermes, belly rubs Fresh shaved armpits on Christmas Day With a smile that's a pile and a half And a laugh and a hearty How do you do? How do you do? It's a cinch that we will be A happy family One plus one plus one Makes two Rick's all about hugs and valentines. That's why people all say, Hey, Rubrick, you're really okay. <laughs> Who's the happy chappy with the ulcerated ear? Rubrick? Who 
stays awake all night, hollering out with fear. <laughs> It's Rubrecht! Fat body! Rubrecht! I like it! Rubrecht! Bye! And, and that's, that's about, about all! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> With the compliments of Monsieur Jemison. The Abbey of Beaumont-sur-Mer was founded in the year 1403 with a grant from the Charlemagne in commemoration of a miracle that is yet to occur. Thank you for your attention and uh, Ave Maria. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Madame. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I've spent the last five days trying to find the prince's country on the map. Is it to the right or the left of the Alps? Uh, yes. Oh. Anyway, I thought as long as I'm here, I should pitch in. I was a tour guide at our museum back home and I minored in art history, mm. so I know a lot about these places or just make it up. Come, come. May I call to your attention the rapture of Louise Lebouf. Following a brief career as a Gregorian chanteuse, this poor peasant girl married the CEO of a major pharmaceutical company, and after 18 years of devotion, caught him with a dental hygienist half his age. <laughs> Praying for guidance, she took him to the cleaners, had some work done, and voila. Thank you. <laughs> that's not her story. Oh, no, it's mine. But that story works in every century. Did His Highness receive my scarf? Oh, yes, it, it was the heat of the battlefield. <laughs> you know, I've been searching the papers, but there's not so much as a mention. Uh, it's just a minor revolution. We don't like to make a fuss. But you must. If you'd like, I could talk to the other women around town. You know, rally the troops. You have a lot of energy, don't you? Uh, I have a lot of time. Well, let me talk it over with the rest of the rebels and we get back to you. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, it was lovely running into you. Have a safe journey home and goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Maybe I should stay. Should I stay? I should stay. Why? Should he need me? If there's something more I can do. Madame, please, your generosity is already legend. Between us, there's talk of a statue. Of me? <laughs> Look, there goes your group. Don't lose them. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, could I be a stamp instead? A stamp? I think I'd rather be a stamp. Then a stamp you shall be. Really? An entire nation will lick your head. Yeah. Listen, they're getting so small in the distance. Go be one of them. Oh, goodbye. Oh, okay, goodbye. Uh, we miss you. Will you? Only if you leave. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And yet you're going to, aren't you? When I was just a little Young and innocent, I kneel beside my little bed and say a prayer I still remember. This is how it went. Let me have love unending. Let me look good in shorts. Keep the card. Call me a cab and I'll be waiting outside. You're all peculiar. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, great. Miss Christine Colgate of Cincinnati, Ohio. Age? Yes. 29. Married? Never. Money? She is called yes. the American Soap Queen. Mm. Please extend the highness every possible courtesy of your grand hotel. Of course, of course. I will say we made quite a good team there. Yeah, we did. Of course, I usually prefer working alone. However, special circumstances and all. <laughs> so, I suppose you'll be moving on now. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <coughs> I beg your pardon? Sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Then neither did I. So, if you prefer to stay on a bit, perhaps see what more you could learn. I guess I could do that. Oh, good. You know, just in case you get into another jam. I don't get in jams. You're yeah, right. If it weren't for me, you'd be out on the prairie plucking your own dinner. Freddy, you... please. I will admit you were an effective prop. prop but... Hey, Ruprecht was the star of that show. 
You were just the MC. I prefer to see myself as a ventriloquist. Which makes me what, the dummy? My God, that was easy. <laughs> ha ha ha. You know what? Forget it. I've been on my own since I was 15. I'll do just fine. Don't worry about me. You and your carrots and your imaginary grandmother. Hey, for your information, she taught me a hell of a lot more about life than you. Talk like this. Walk like that. Zip your fly. Don't snore at the opera. I'm sorry, Freddy. I seem to have gotten under your skin. Yeah, well, you know. And that's why you'll never make it in this game. Listen. No, you listen. If you can have the patience and stay detached, which I highly doubt, you will get your castle in time. But make sure you build your walls high, because as soon as you let someone else in, the game is over. Yeah? Well, as the coaster said, yeah, goody, yeah. I'm wasting my breath. You know what? I think you're scared. Of what? Me. Face it, Pops. I'm younger than you. I'm charminger than you. Charminger. <laughs> and I'm better looking than you. All right. Now you've gone too far. If I was running this place, you'd be finished. My boy, you wouldn't last two minutes. <laughs> Wanna bet? Very well, Freddy. Suppose we do this. We select a woman, set a price, and the first man to extract the proper amount wins. How much? I'll make it easy for you. Say, $50,000. $50,000? Yeah, sure. I could use a little pocket money. If you lose, you not only leave town graciously, but you agree to work only in the following territories. China, Iceland, El Salvador. And just to show there are no hard feelings, I'll throw in my soul. Mysore? Hmm, cool. And if I win? Then I abdicate. Great! Uh, Step down. Great. So, who's the dame? She's here! She's here! The American soap queen is here! The soap queen! The soap queen! The, soap queen, the American soap queen! Would you look at that coffered ceiling? <gasps> look at that chandelier. Excuse me, but how I'm feeling is a hundred proof. I could raise the roof. I'm so happy to be here. Well, you're on. <laughs> I've been kind of missing mom and dad. Sort of in the spin since it's bad. The morning tide, a major bore, but then they opened the cabin door and took the Lord. Here I am. Oh, the way to be, to me, is French. The way they say loving is French. So here I am, Bumon Samara, a victory song of Indiana. If I'm only dreaming, please don't wake me. Let the summer sun and breezes take me Excuse me if I seem shishun I promise I'll find my marble soon But everywhere I look It's like a scene from a book Open the book and here I am Shout for here, how? 